For a standing neck car with dumbbells, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work through my regular neck car, but the reason I'm using dumbbells is to ensure that I'm not getting any shrugging of the shoulders. So those dumbbells are gonna give me some feedback to make sure that the shoulders are staying still as I isolate the neck. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take the dumbbells, I'm gonna pretend like I was doing a trap bar deadlift. So I'm gonna take my shoulders and try to bring them down towards my back pockets. And again, the feedback here would be if I start to shrug one side up or the other, I'm gonna feel that as I work through this. Now from here, I'm squeezing the bells. I'm gonna bring my chin down towards my collarbone as much as possible. And I'm gonna trace my right collarbone as much as I can. From there, I'm gonna to start to side bend at the neck. And I'm gonna extend back. So I'm thinking I'm trying to draw the biggest circle I can with my chin. From there, I make sure I'm not working through any pain here. I'm gonna to rotate to the left side. Side bending again rotating and then I'm trying to trace my left collarbone then to reverse that I'm gonna do the same thing I'm focusing on those shoulders staying still as I work through the greatest pain free range of motion I have as I'm here in this extended position there should be no pinching in the back side of that neck if there is that's considered closing angle pain you're gonna to want to back off of that range of motion and then you come back down to center so again, the keys here, use the dumbbells, give you some feedback to make sure that the shoulders stay packed down and not allowing yourself to shrug. If there's any pain into that closing angle when you extend up, back off of that range of motion, you might make any issues that are present worse.